Hello, today we are going to be traveling to India and we are going to be creating a paisley. You've probably seen paisley patterns before on different fabrics and this is a pattern that has come to us from the country of India. So today we're going to create our own paisley our, and add some um, decorative lines and things to it. So for this project, you're going to need a piece of white paper, a black marker, and then colors to color in your um, paisley. So I'm gonna use markers today. You could use crayons or colored pencils too if that's what you have. All right, so let's get started. I'm gonna take my black marker and I'm going to start with my paisley pattern. Now I made one of these um, earlier and I just made a whole bunch. Today, I'm just gonna make one big one with you, but if you wanted to make a bunch of um, other little ones, because once you get started, it's really fun to experiment and make each one a little bit different, you can. Um, but today, I'll just do the one with you, one big one in the middle. All right, so we're gonna start with that teardrop shape. So I'm going to come up here at the top, because I'm gonna make it real big, because we're just making one kind of make a teardrop a little bit but when I come back up here it's more going to kind of like curve up here like that and then you can even come to the end if you want to and make that curve around like a spiral a little bit all right and there is a paisley type line on the slides um, before this, you saw that there were some other types of shapes also, so you could try any of those shapes as well. All right, and then you're just going to design the inside, and even you can do it with the on the outside with different um, patterns and shapes. Lots of times there's flowers um, and uh, circles that go inside of each other, those concentric circles. We've talked about concentric, where the shape continues inside of each other. Um, little, different little lines. This is what we're seeing in a lot of these different countries when we look at their um, art, is it's very repetitive with its patterns. It's very decorative. I'm just gonna put my whole outline here with these little bumps. <laughs> Um, but you can just kind of have fun with your shape ideas. Okay, so maybe I will do a flower shape for this one. I'm going to do a um, flower like this. I'm going to make a little first flower and then add some petals. So, and just continue on with my shapes up here. So I, I don't want to leave a lot of blank space. So up here, I might want to add um, something else, like maybe another teardrop shape and something inside of there. That's almost like those um, dolls that we learned about from Russia, right? The Matryoshka dolls, how they're similar but they get smaller and smaller kind of that idea so i'll do another one up here and maybe i'll do something else inside of this one this is a pretty popular pattern where that shape just kind of goes inside of each other and then each one might be a little bit different so i'm just going to continue with um adding decorative lines and designs to my paisley now Okay, there's my finished design. As you can see, I tried to fill my space. I tried some symmetry too. We've been talking a lot about that this um, year. So I made one on this side, that this little paisley, and then I decided to make the same one on this side. Same with this little vine that I made. This decorative vine did the same thing on that side. So you might choose to use some symmetry in yours too, because that always really balances your piece well. 
Now I'm going to take my colors. I'm choosing to use markers um, and I'm going to fill all of this in, make this look complete. I know sometimes for some of you coloring might feel really tedious. That means, oh, I've got so much to color. I just don't want to color at all. But the thing is, is it isn't complete. It's not going to look complete unless you use color and you fill it up with different, um, you know, different colors that you want. It's going to look sort of half done. So I um, encourage you to, to do that still, even if you don't feel like you want to. And if it feels like a lot to do at one time, then color some of it and then put it off to the side and take it out again and color a little bit more. You don't have to do it all in one sitting. But before you post it to be, make sure that it is colored in. All right, I'm first, what I like to do is take one color at a time and kind of look around the design and pick some different areas to color it in. And I did the same thing with the Matryoshka doll. If you remember that, I took picked a color and then to make it sort of, you know, blend and um, have unity in the whole piece, I would go around and pick different areas to color that color. So that's what I'm doing right now. Again, making it symmetrical. So if I colored this area and this paisley shape. I did the same on that side with that paisley shape. I am going to choose just a couple colors to use, uh, to color this. I'm not going to color like tons of different colors. I might just choose like three or four colors um, so that it really has a theme. So I am going to continue with my coloring right now. And there is my finished paisley pattern. I used um, just a few colors and um, continued to use those throughout the whole pattern to create unity. So I just had these four colors that I used besides the black. And um, then I used symmetry and repetition of different um, patterns. Um, so you can use the slide that gives you some drawing ideas and really decorate your paisley any way that you want to. Have fun with it. Remember to color it all before you post it. And um, don't forget to do the self-assessment after this video so that you can look it over and make sure that you've done the very best work that you can before you post it to me to look over. Remember, don't throw away your artwork until it is checked in because I might have it add a little something more or make a little change or something. And um, it's hard to do if you don't have your artwork anymore. So um, don't throw it away until it's been checked in. All right, I cannot wait to see your beautiful Paisleys. Have fun with this, bye.